Well, gas prices, they have now hit a record high. AAA says a gallon of regular has hit a national average of, can you believe it, 439. Wow. Never thought we would say that. And here in Texas, it's not as bad, 399 here. Well, Consumer Reporter Heather Sullivan joins us live with the question we all have, why are these prices still climbing? Yeah, not only that, but uh, they're still expecting prices to continue to climb a bit, and they're going to stay high, according to analysts. Now, you're probably going, well, uh, President Biden released the oil reserves. That was meant to bring down gas prices. However, analysts say because of the ban on the Russian oil, that's creating a shortage. And in China, they're in a COVID lockdown. That has decreased demand. All of that means they say not only will we see an increase, they're calling for up to 20 cents more over the next couple of weeks, but they expect it to last. I think we're in for a period of several years of higher energy prices. Even if the war in Ukraine ended tomorrow, it's unlikely that sanctions would be lifted against Russia for quite some time, and that would keep oil supplies off the market. Now, because we are in this for the long haul, it's really time to get serious about finding ways to save money. Experts say you really need to take a hard look at consolidating your trips and, of course, slowing down because that will improve your fuel economy. Uh, there are other things you can do. Of course, uh, there are the store loyalty cards like Kroger that offer discounts on gas, uh, wholesale clubs like Costco that have discounts on gas. And, of course, there are several apps that can also help you save money uh, per gallon at the gas pump. So 